So you've updated your Google My Business, you're pleased with what you've done, you've put a few photos on there and you've now recorded some information about your business. And you know that your business is respected, it's been on the high street for many years. But why is it when you look on Google and on Google Maps that other smaller businesses and ones that aren't as reliable and those that have only just popped up recently are above you getting all the traffic? Why has Google put them above you when you've been around longer, you're more reliable and you've got the experience? Well, today I'm going to empower you with an easy to follow plan. We're going to work the plan out together and this bespoke plan will work for your business as well as anyone's business. So you'll find that it'll give you exactly the right things to do. And if you follow this plan, then you'll find you'll start to go up the rankings as you start to then give Google the very things that it's currently rewarding in your particular business category. And what's more, I'm going to do this on a step-by-step -step basis because I know you like those types of videos. You've said that in the comments below. So make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss this one or any of the other tutorials that are coming up. And I'll now take you through exactly how this plan works. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design. I've been web designing for over 20 years and I've learned in the last few years that Google My Business is a great way to get new clients for me as a web designer. But I'm also sharing what I'm learning so that you can get clients for your business with Google My Business and also growing on Google in various optimizations along the way. But I get a lot of businesses asking me, why is it that others are above me in Google My Business or in Google Maps or if you do a search on Google. And of course, to answer that, there's all sorts of reasons, mainly down to the fact that there's about 200 reasons in the algorithm that Google secretly has. But what we can do is we can learn from what's being rewarded. And this plan we're going to look at today in a step-by-step -step process is gonna help you to devise your own plan that's really easy. It'll take you less than one hour a week to maintain it. So let's dive straight in and see how we can make a bespoke plan for your business that's gonna help you gain traction in Google. So the plan is, first of all, you log in to your Google My Business backend, you then go to Insights, and you're then checking to see, if you go to the quarter, what your local top five search words are. Now the problem is, is because of my popularity with Google My Business videos, I'm now being found rather than as a web designer, most people are finding me for the company name or through Google. So my example, unfortunately, doesn't work particularly well. But what I've done here is I've got um, top five from a different client, and these are the top five here. So you can see, in effect, these are their top five locksmith near me, locksmith cheap, locksmith near me, keys made near me, locksmith near me cheap. Okay, now if we follow that process then, the second thing then is to pick then, what does it say? Once you've got your top five searches, then go to Google Maps and type it in with a big city and term. Now, the biggest city near me really is Southampton. So I'm gonna put Southampton as my go-to place. So whatever country you're in, so if your nearest city is Delhi, if you're in India, it could be it's Melbourne, it could be that it's say Florida or Texas, wherever you are, Think about the biggest city that's nearby and you want to then make a note of that above here as well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add the two together and actually it's not so much Google Maps, it's more really about finding Google Maps through Google search. So go, go to google.com, I've already typed this in Southampton, locksmith near me. So the combination of these two and basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to, so if I take that there, you'll be doing Southampton locksmith near me, Southampton locksmith, Southampton cheap locksmith near me, Southampton keys made near me. You get the idea. So that's what you'd, you, and you can do this with other cities as well, as long as they're in the same country, because again, it does vary depending on which country you're in. But I'm just gonna take you through this one example. What are you trying to do here? Well, you've got now this search term that you're going to use. It's realistic. You're already ranking number one. It's your top search term that you're using or you're being found under. And you're now going to look at all those above you. So if you don't come up because you're not big enough to get in the nearby city, that's fine. And it may be the 
you again vicinity makes a massive difference to where you come in that but you're going to learn what others are doing so well that makes them really get a huge amount of traffic from the nearby city so you're going to look at those above you which will probably be the majority and you're then going to jot down or write a plan based on that and we're going to do it together so I'm going to use this area here as where the plan starts so let's put the plan starts here okay so that's what we're going to do let's take the first one then so this isn't an advert the first thing i do is just look at the top five or six scores so that's incredible but that looks like it's um that's because it's a a chain so let's take these these five here so 5.0 4.8 5.0 so it looks like 4.9 is a good average so that's part of the plan then so we're going to aim for 4.9 and how many did they do 43 i mean you can do the maths but again i think you can see roughly they're all apart from this one here they're all hitting it around about 40 then if you average it out so we want about 40 40 reviews so again look at yours and it could be that the fact that you've got 4.9 or you've got more than 40 reviews but that's your first thing as part of your plan is to you want to aim for that as an average a good average there for your particular type of business okay next thing so we click on the first one then um, actually just something else to bring out you notice here that mostly say less than one year in business now it's not because they're all newly opened up but it's because they haven't filled out that in Google my business um, you can fill out and say when you were founded so foundation date is so important most of them haven't done it found founded date fill that in and then you'll get the benefit particularly if you've been around for a few years then you get this 10 plus years in business and that that again has a, an impact i think if people are looking for um, someone who's been around for a while so again it's 10 plus there so that at seven plus there you go it does it does vary depending on what the year is but if you say you opened into the year 2000 then you're 20 plus years so founded date says there's, there's another thing to fill in in your plan um some have got websites some haven't so actually it's more a case of they have got websites but it's the directions not on those and that's there's no website or direction on this one so um, the reason why and that's not necessarily right or wrong you definitely want your website so make, again if you haven't got your website and others have add websites so, and if you want to add a website and you haven't even got a website you can actually update it by using your Google my business website that comes free again I've got a video that shows you how to do that if you haven't seen how to do that so make sure you're good so the directions themselves that's down to whether or not you've got a shop so if you're working from home and you're getting and you're visiting customers then you might not get the directions which is the case here okay what else we got so a request a quote button so ask yourself have you got a request a quote if you want to know how to do that again if you do a search for Zanet design request a quote then my video should come up um, and shows you how to do that but basically you need to use um, the app so you need to add the app and once you've added the app you can then enable that which is a great way to respond um, things like hours again you can fill that in obviously keep these up to date so keep hours updated especially if it's holiday time what else can we see so look at these products add products so many people don't add products but they've got good images look at the imagery as well 24-hour emergency so you might even want to take real detailed notes of what they've done here because this is a good range of products that shows them the, exactly what they do they've even got categories for their products so again you might want to make a note of what these categories are so add products plus categorize them you want categories for products so you're beginning to see we've got a great plan and this is just after looking at number one and then when it comes to photos so often people just chuck up a couple of photos off their phone you want in your photos locks you know Google knows what these photos are it recognizes what a lock is it recognizes a key it recognizes a barrel so you want barrel locks keys handles make a note of these things on your plan they might sound obvious but you know when you write them down and you go through them and then you check them off you're going to find suddenly you're going to hit a lot more success and you notice here they've got these uh, keywords that are highlighted so again if you find that certain keywords come up try and use them if you can 
Try and use these keywords, locksmith near me, cheap locksmith. Try and integrate these when it comes to replying. So thanks, Alex, for the locksmith review. So they've put the keyword there in a response. Again, they've mentioned the review here, but they haven't done it. But they are replying. So always reply. Which again, I've got a video that shows you how you can really increase your reviews and get it so that your average increases too. And then they've got a description at the end. So um, description, and you might want to just check to see what are they saying here, if you're looking for a locksmith, local locksmith in Southampton. So you might just put, if you're looking for a locksmith near you in Southampton, if you're looking for a cheap locksmith near you, if you need keys to be made near you in Southampton area, it's all kind of going to help to get these keywords, not just finding you, but then to, be, to get you to the top of those keywords. So I think we've got quite a lot from that. Let's just go down to the second one, see if there's anything else. So these are really great photos here. So again, the shop has been used. Um, if we click on more photos, let's just see what comes up. So some really good photographs in action. So again, action photos and branding as well. Action photos, uh, branding. It's great branding. You notice how we've got branding here on a shirt. And you've got uh, the branding inside the, on the shop front itself. So there's some really good examples there. You may want to just make a note as well of the categories being used. So this is emergency lock, slot, locksmith service. So that's one category. So make a note of the categories that are above you. Because sometimes there's three or four categories. You might want one or two of them as a secondary category. You notice this one was just locksmith. So just locksmith there. So that's a, another category. So you might want to choose which one of those two is more you. Are you emergency or are you just a locksmith? So again, it's something to consider if there's others, emergency locksmith, locksmith. It seems a locksmith or an emergency locksmith are the two that are going to apply. Okay, so just go through this one. Go for this one as well. So again, some ideas with photographs there. I mean, they've you notice these are number three and they've got things missing. So you imagine if you start filling all these things in, imagine the impact that's gonna have on your rankings. Let's just go down again. So they've got the request button, they're open 24 hours. They've got some good photographs again, of branding photographs, though that's not particularly good. They reply to their so you notice there's that a lot of these are doing the same thing. And ah, here we go. Now this is a case of updating their post regularly. So they've got a one day ago, they add, added a post, another post here. These guys are, um, they're definitely, so that's three posts in a week. So regular updates. That's gonna be important. Certainly um, within seven days, you want to do at least one post every seven days. Okay, um, let's just go to one more. Let's go to, there's you go, 10 years plus, let's see. So they've got the request button, they've got their website, they've got an appointment page as well. So you can, if I click on that, let's just see if that goes to the appointment page. Well, it doesn't seem to be loading, but it goes to their contacts page. So I suppose that's not bad. Um, the fact it doesn't load, they obviously have a slow website. So if I was inquiring, I might have missed out on that appointment. But there you go. So adding an appointment. So we've got that. No, we haven't. So appointments. And then in brackets, contact page. So there's an idea of what you could do. So you're learning again, learning from what others are doing as well. So just going through here. It's not. So they've got, ah, so add your, now you know, again, that's one of the biggest things that people are trying to do is how do you get the profiles? Because you can have Facebook, Twitter, you can have YouTube videos, you can have Instagram. Uh, it's so hard to get them up here, but I've got a video that I'll put a link to at the end of this video that will show you how you can do that too. So let's, um, let's just uh, add, add profiles, social media. Okay, 
So the plans, I mean, look at this plan. So let's just, I don't think we need to do any more really. So just with the first city and the first search term, and of course you can do it for all of these and you can add different cities if you want. We've decided our plan is then we've got 4.9, 40 reviews. We're gonna put the founded date. We're gonna add a website if we haven't already added it. We're going to add the request to quote button by installing the app and then enabling it. We're going to keep the hours updated, particularly with holiday hours. We're going to add products. Um, so again, we can even have um, so that's plus categories as well. So you can categorize your products as well. Again, I've got a video that shows you how to do that if you haven't come across it. As an it design and then look for products. Uh, we're gonna add photos and here's some ideas. Take some decent photos of locks and barrel locks and keys and handles and action photos of our branding as well. So if you've got t-shirts and vans, uh, and get the branding. Google recognizes the branding. This will help when it comes to finding you as well. It gives you more credibility in Google. Always reply to reviews. So we're gonna go for all our reviews and reply to each one. And we're gonna use the keywords here that are going to be in our replies as well, if we can. We're gonna rewrite our description to make sure that again, these keywords are mentioned in there naturally, if possible. We're going to categorize ourselves with at least one, if not two of the top categories so I don't know what we've categorized ourselves at but if it's this or this whichever is most appropriate and then maybe the other one is a secondary category if it's appropriate we're going to do regular updates and again we'll look at that plan in a moment uh, we're going to look at appointments as well so we can add a contact page on our website if we haven't got a, an appointments booking page and we're going to try and add profiles and to do that we're going to if you look at uh, if you search for um, let's just see if we can find it quickly so I put social media, Google My Business, just see how quickly I can find my own video, because sometimes it's easy to just say, I'll give you it, and then say so it's social media, uh, Google My Business, Let's see if it comes up. There you go, it's the first one, that was good. Um, and if you watch our social links, and it shows exactly how to do that. Cool, that did come up well. Okay, that was a surprise. <laughs> so there you go, so that's, that's me there showing you how you can add those social media icons um, so what we're talking about, just in case you're still lost, is this here. And it's often asked for, very few people know how to do it. You can't guarantee it, but you can certainly increase the opportunity of Google listing your social media icons there. So once we've done that then, so once we've got the insights, we've done the five words, we've added it to the city, we've then done the searches, what can we then do? Well, we've now got this plan, which we've just gone through, and this plan is not really to do it all at one go, because you don't need to do that. But what you're gonna do is on a weekly basis now, you're just gonna add a photo each week. You're gonna add a one review. So you're gonna try and build up your reviews, even if it gets past 40, keep it going. And you're going to also try and add a post. So you've got just a little weekly routine. It'll take you about an hour a week, and that hour a week set aside will gradually get you moving up and up and up. And you'll find that once you get this authority, and the more you get clicks on, the more you go up. So it's kind of while you keep these things being added and updated, where you keep regularly adding a photo, adding a review, asking people when they add a review if they can add a photo too, and adding a post, all those things will be helpful. So let's find out how can you add photos and reviews? What's the best way to do that? Well, let's have a look at that. So as we've seen, this plan needs to be done on a regular basis. And there's a few things that you need to consider adding with that plan. And that is to add photographs or at least one photo every week, at least one post every week, and try and get at least one review every week. Now, if you want to know how to get reviews, good reviews that is, then watch this video and I'll join you there. But if you want to know how to upload photographs and what things to include in the photographs, then watch this video and I'll see you there.